All right, everybody. Tonight, the anonymous 360 cookware chef, which is me, and my faithful assistant camera girl, are going to answer the age-old question that you struggle with every single night, which is, why doesn't my broccoli taste good when I cook it? And I'm going to show you that, you know, traditionally, everybody boils their cookware, I mean, excuse me, boils their broccoli to death in a pan that looks kind of like this. This is your basic Teflon aluminum pan. Look down on the bottom. See how it's all scratched up? That's Teflon that's flaking off in your food. Okay, first of all, that's not good for you. Okay, stop. Stop eating off the Teflon. It's not good for you. But this is what most people have, so this is what we're going to cook on. Here we have the 360. This is a two-quart. It's actually a shallow pan, but that's all we have tonight. So we're going to cook in this two-quart um, pan. And we're going to cook broccoli and carrots. So I've pre-done up some broccoli and carrots. So um, to make it fair, I'm going to go ahead and put some in here. And, oops, sorry, sorry buddy. Get in there. I'm going to stick it in there. Right. Yeah. A couple more back in here. Okay. So what we're going to do is like we always do. Come on over here. We're going to rinse this off. And then, as normal, we're going to, what? Dump it out. Okay. Then we're going to set it here on the stove. We're going to put the lid on. Now, that's all we need to do to that. But unfortunately, over here, we're going to fill this up with water. I know that you're thinking to yourself right now, this is how we cook uh, broccoli. This is how you do it. This is how you do it every night. This is how you've always done it. But I'm going to show you tonight, you got to stop it. You're killing it. You're taking all the nutrients out of your broccoli and your carrots and you're dumping it down the sink. So we're going to set that back here. Now, as you can see, we're going to start these even. We have no food here. We have food here. We're going to turn this on medium. And to get this to start to boil, we're going to turn this on high. And then we'll be back to you when something happens with either pan. Okay, so we're back. As you can see, we have vapor seal here. We have a little bit of vapor escaping. We're going to go ahead and spin the lid. Look at that spin like a top. Perfect, beautiful, awesome. And then, like normal, we're going to turn it down to low. Over here, you can see we're just starting to boil. We're not boiling enough to put the, the, the uh, broccoli in yet, but we'll be back when this reaches full boil. But this only has probably another three minutes. So we're already ahead of the game over here. Okay, so we're back. So as you can see, this is still, we're still letting that cook, but this is now boiling. So we are finally going to put our vegetables in here. And there it goes. We'll push it down. And they are in the water. Okay, so now we'll be back to you when both of them are done. And we'll kind of show you the difference. All right? Okay, so you can see we're done boiling over here. So this is done. We're going to go ahead and turn it off. And we've been successful, I think, at killing it. So I'm going to dump it in here just so I can show you what happens. We're going to go ahead and... Dump that in there. We're going to... There we go. Okay. All right, so first of all, as you can see, look over here, the green, and we're gonna dump this out, you can watch. <coughs> Excuse me. Go ahead and take a look, though, as what we for what we dump out. See how it's green and yellow? That's all the nutrients. That's everything drink that you took off of your broccoli and your carrots. They are now void of all nutrients and vitamins. That we just dumped all the way down the drain. So come back over here. And I'm going to show you the difference between, I haven't taken the lid off this yet, but I want to show you the difference between what you have over here and what you have here. Now this doesn't have any, is not draining, cooked in no water. We just rinsed it off. Everything is vibrant. Every, all the nutrients stay intact. Everything is, is still in there. The broccoli is completely cooked. The carrots are completely cooked. We're going to go ahead and taste a carrot. Now, our camera person doesn't like cooked carrots because we normally cook them this way. 
So she's going to try this and tell us how she thinks. Go ahead and try that one. How is it? Excellent. That's not, okay, so we're going to try this one now. Try that one. Not as good. Not as good? And there you have it, folks. That's the official word right there. Okay, so we have our we have our vegetables. Now, if you look over here, earlier today we cooked some chicken in our 360 three and a half quart saute pan. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna have some vegetables. We made uh, some uh, homemade um, uh, fruit salsa, and we'll be right back to show you. Okay, so here we have our chicken, we have our uh, veggies. I'm gonna top this with a little, uh, oops, a little fruit salsa. Now, I, I was hoping I had some mango, but it didn't turn out that I had any mango. What I did have was kiwi, and so, Come on, you can stay on there. Okay, so we topped it with a little kiwi salsa. And all we did is, if you look in here, uh, some tomatoes, some onions, some kiwi. We just mixed those together. I used a little of the honey and herb Malfour uh, lemon basil vinegar, which you may not have heard of that, but this is going to be big, so keep an eye out for it. I put a little uh, lime juice in it, and I actually put a little um, stevia. For to just sweeten it up a little bit, and it's uh, super yummy, I have to say. All right, so there you have it. We have chicken with homemade salsa. We have veggies. We're going to go eat.